Hi, I'm Kurt from Sunnyside. There are lots of different fasteners. And in this video, I'm going to show you which ones you should be using for your polycarbonate, acrylic or plastic roofing. So the first thing I'll show you is what not to use. Now I've seen all these fasteners used on polycarbonate roofing and they simply don't work. So these three here are all for construction, uh, for fastening timber or metal or various things. They're not to be used for polycarbonate roofing. The reason is polycarbonate roofing expands and contracts. And so you need an expansion hole to allow it room to move around the fastener and therefore you need a washer that is large enough to go over that expansion hole. So these three don't have any washers on them and they're not used for roofing at all. This one is actually a uh, steel roofing screw, so commonly used on corrugated steel or corrugated iron. Uh, it does have a small neoprene washer under the hex head, but that is also not big enough to cover the expansion hole on polycarbonate roofing. These three are all suitable for use on profiled polycarbonate roofing. So whether it's the corrugated or a Greca profile or a ribs profile. Now bearing in mind, depending on the height of the profile, you may need a longer screw. Generally, you want about 30 millimeters into whatever you're fastening this into, into the purlin. So these three do the same thing, just in slightly different ways. This is the one shot fastener that we sell. So it's actually got a hole cutter underneath the washer and that cuts the expansion hole as the same time when you screw it down into the sheet. This multi-purpose fastener also has a hole cutter under the washer and it won't cut the hole until the very end once it's fastened down. Now this fastener here is quite commonly used. It doesn't have a hole cutter. So what that means is you need to use a drill bit to pre-drill an expansion hole first and then you can put this fastener through. So for that reason, we only sell these two because they're a lot easier to use. They just do everything in one shot. This fastener is for our custom glaze. It won't work on corrugated because the wash is too big. It's quite a wide, flat washer. So on corrugated, that simply won't form to that corrugation. However, it will work for our custom glaze going directly on top of the ridge there. It needs to have an expansion hole pre-drilled first. This is our twin wall fastener. It's used for twin wall or multi wall. So it's got a metal washer on the top with a neoprene washer underneath and designed for flat roofing. So that can be used on our twin wall. Again, that needs to have an expansion hole pre-drilled first. So the last product is solid acrylic or polycarbonate. Generally, it's around six millimeters thick. Usually you'll use joiner bars on this. You try not to use fasteners. However, if you do need to fasten it down with fasteners, there's a couple of options. You can use either the custom glaze fastener or the twin wall fastener. And again, you need to drill an expansion hole through first and then use something with a big enough washer that's going to cover that expansion hole. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Sunnyside YouTube channel for more DIY tips.